Hey friends, today we're going to plant our very own Swiss chard seeds. The type of chard we are going to plant is called Bright Lights chard. And you'll notice as your chard plant is growing that it has different colored stems, so it makes for a really beautiful growing project because it's like having a rainbow in your garden. So before we get started, I'm going to go over the materials that you'll need. You'll need a bowl and your soil, plus something to mix with. You'll need your planting container and your popsicle stick for labeling. You'll need your pre-packaged seeds. And then you'll need a little bit of water to moisten your soil. We're gonna start by adding a little bit of water to our soil, just a little bit. And then this is the fun part. You're gonna go in with your hands or with a spoon, whatever you'd like. I like using my hands. You're gonna mix the soil up. And you don't want your soil really wet. You just want it to be wet enough that it kind of clumps together. We still need a little bit more water. So I added probably one and a half to two tablespoons. All right. So that soil looks good. It's holding together, but it's not super muddy. And then what we're gonna do next, is gonna put our soil loosely into our planting container. So I'm gonna hold my planting container over the bowl so it doesn't make a huge mess. All right, after you've done that, you're gonna take your knuckles and you're going to press down just softly, just enough to make sure that the top of your soil is packed a little firmly, not too firmly. You want it level, just like that. Next, we're gonna do the actual planting part of this project. So I'm gonna use my fingertip and I'm going to make two very shallow, so that means not deep, holes in our soil spaced a little far apart. And we, the reason we want to space our seeds apart is because just like people, plants and seeds need room to grow. And we want to make sure that we give our plants enough room to grow. All right. Then you're gonna open your seed packet. You're gonna take two of your Swiss chard seeds, like that. You're gonna put two in each hole. And the reason behind that is because we want to make sure that our planting project has the greatest amount of success possible. So we are adding a little bit of insurance by planting two seeds in one hole. Next, you're going to cover up your seeds very gently. And that's it. 